All right, back to another album review. Today's review is on the soundtrack to John Wick, Chapter 3, Parabellum, which happens to be my favorite film from 2019. The film was released on May 19th, 2019. The soundtrack was released digitally on the same day on Marie Sarabende, though the physical versions wouldn't get released until three weeks later. Every single song was composed and produced by our good friends Tyler Bates and Joel J. Richard with Gil Sharon on drums and Greg Ellis on percussion. Joel helped Wolfgang Mathis with the mixing. Additional music was provided by Joanne Higginbottom and Lorena Perez Batista. The soundtrack was executive produced by Kevin Edelman and uh, Carrie E. Mansfield, though Kevin was also credited as the music supervisor. The score was prepared by Matthias Ambrogi Torres. Richard Henderson edited the music. Just as a heads up, this review does contain spoilers from the movie, so watch the remainder of the, view of the review at your own risk. With that out of the way, let's talk about the songs. The intro of this soundtrack is Parabellum, opening titles. As the title implies, you know, this track was played during the opening credits of the film. It's also a great way to start the soundtrack. Next track is TikTok, Mr. Wick. Now, this is played during the scene where John encountered the TikTok man. After that is Taxi Ride, which was played during the scene where John took a taxi to the New York Public Library. Next up is Excommunicado. Up next is Rain Chase. It followed up with Antique Gun Assembly, which is when John put, put a revolver together and got his first headshot in the entire film. That was also the first time I saw him kill some asshole with a revolver. That's followed up by J.W. Horse Whisperer. Which was when John ended up using horses to kill some of the assholes who were trying to kill him. One time someone told a joke saying that if someone killed John's horse, he'd probably end up nuking the city. What comes next is Dance of the Two Wolves. This track features vocals from uh, Julia Axe. What comes next that is The Adjudicator which was played during the scene that introduced the character of the same name. The following track is, is Wick in Morocco, which was played during the scene where John went to Casablanca. Now the track after that is Kill What You Love. Next track is Continental Morocco. After that is Desert Walk, which is when John was wandering the desert searching for the Elder. Next up is Elder Tent Offering. So it's during the scene where John encountered the Elder, cut off his ring finger, and gave his wedding ring to the Elder. And John even got a new suit. Up next is He Shot My Dog. This was played during the scene where John was kicking ass alongside Sophia, who was played by Halle Berry. Just like John, Sophia kicked a lot of ass. And just like Keanu Reeves, Halle Berry went through weapons training in preparation for the film. And there's footage of the there's footage of that on YouTube. Uh, we followed it up with Grand Central Station, which is where John returned to New York and encountered Zero in, in addition to killing one of his goons. Uh, that's, that's followed up by Cycle Samurais. This is one of my favorite songs in the film, and it fits the scene perfectly. The following track is The Glass House. It's from the scene where John encountered Winston in the glass house, but refused to kill him. The track that comes next is Deconsecrated. It's when the adjudicator declared the Continental to be deconsecrated due to John's refusal to kill Winston. The track that comes after that is Winter of the Continental. You think this song would have been played during the scene where John was fighting off the high table enforcers, but no. They decided to reuse the song Presto Museum Battle from the second movie. It was still my favorite scene from the movie, but I feel like it would have worked better with the song Winter of the Continental. What comes next is Shotgun Hot Tub. It's from when John and Sharon were using Benelli M4s loaded with armor piercing slugs to kill the rest of the high table enforcers. The scene was very satisfying, especially since we got to see Sharon kicking ass for once. R.I.P. to Lance Reddick, and he was a fucking legend. The next track is The Glass House Fight. 
So when John faced off against the rest of Zero's goons, and he really fucked him up. The second to last track is Zero versus Wick. It's from, uh, this is when John finally faced off against Zero. And it was very satisfying to see John win the fight. The finale of the soundtrack is really pissed off. End credits. This was played at the very end of the movie. I can't find any, any info on how the soundtrack performed commercially. Though it has been received very well on, uh, on Amazon, Discogs, and All Music. Now for my thoughts. Personally, I think the soundtrack is even better than its predecessors. One criticism I have for the soundtrack is that it doesn't feature the song Bullet Holes by Bush. I mean, this, that song was played during the end credits, so it would have made sense to include it on the soundtrack. The song, uh, the fact that the song was excluded was a missed opportunity. On the plus side, Bullet Holes ended up on Bush's album The Kingdom in 2020, so it's not all bad. Plus, we also have this famous photo of Gavin Rossdale with Keanu Reeves at the premiere of John Wick Chapter 3. And this is one of the greatest photos I have ever seen. Overall, I highly recommend the soundtrack. On a side note, I'm, I am excited to see John Wick Chapter 4. Sadly, this will be the, the final film that Lance Reddick completed because he sadly passed away at the young age of 60 on March 17th of this shitty year. Way too soon. I'm still going to see the movie, and I'll be seeing it uh, for my mom because she sadly passed away last year. And she took me to go see John Wick 2 and 3 in the theater. Now is the part where I question you. Have you listened to the soundtrack to John Wick 3? If so, what are your thoughts on it? What's your favorite song from it? Do you think the song Bullet Holes by Bush should have been included on the soundtrack? Are you planning on seeing John Wick 4 in the theater? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to press the notification bell to notify of future videos. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with a rather interesting review.